you believe that it would be possible to eliminate the virus over the next few weeks? Is yes, that, I do. That, that's, that, I'm correct in understanding that's your view? Yes, I do. Okay. And I, can, I, can you point us to, um, great respect for your view, but analysis or supporting evidence to suggest that this is, this is an achievable outcome? Yes, a number of epidemiologists have been saying this for weeks. Professor Michael Baker, Professor Nick Wilson. I did define elimination. It's a bit like we, you know, we're going to have smoke free New Zealand by 2025. Um, that doesn't mean every single smoker will have stopped smoking. But uh, as a t we, we won't eradicate the virus in the way that smallpox was eradicated from the globe um, over 40 years ago. But we could, uh, the, the, the sense in which the term elimination is used in infectious disease control is to get it down to a, a defined minimum number of cases which can be handled at a local level. So that's what I would like to see in a strategic plan. Um, I don't imagine that we will ever eliminate every single virus particle in New Zealand, but we could effectively eliminate it so that there would be no need for, a, for another lockdown People could travel around New Zealand, have holidays. Uh, and what's more, in the coming months, we could very likely let tourists come in because there are new antibody tests becoming available, which will be able to tell us who has had this infection and who is immune. So it may be that in a matter of months, uh, we will be able to open the country up to an extent, uh, so long as people can prove that they've had a test that shows they're not carrying the virus. And it'll be just like when I first went overseas, everyone had to have a smallpox vaccination certificate. So I think, you know, the prize is great. We've got such a great opportunity, but it's no use waiting a few weeks to ramp up these things. We have to act now. Otherwise, this is going to get out of control because as Dr. Bloomfield said, uh, we need surveillance to get an idea. Have we got 500 undiagnosed cases out there? Or have we got several thousand? At the moment, we don't know. Can I just ask, is there another country that has produced a template of what a good strategic plan looks like? Who, who's doing it best, being open with the people and, and showing what the plan is? Yeah, I'm sorry. I wouldn't be a good person to answer that question. Uh, my impression is I, the country I would really look to is Singapore. Singapore have got a fantastic public health system and a great hospital system. So I think it would be well worth finding out uh, what their plan is. We can certainly see a lot of countries that haven't had good plans, uh, the United States and the UK being two good examples. I think we need to have a cross-party, uh, in fact, a national commitment to do our best. We might fail, but we've got a really good chance of success. And I think that I would like to see the government be very explicit about this, because then I think the people will realise that all this um, hassle we're in is worthwhile. Okay, I'll just note that Mr. Ombler's briefing notes and presentation uh, did in black and white spell that out. So, Can I just add something um, in this discussion? Because the words the minister used was that the aim was to reduce it to smaller waves. Yeah, well, that's... Can you clarify that? Well, I, I think that would be an admission of defeat. That may happen, but I think it doesn't need to happen. I don't think people should be talking about waves. I don't think people should be talking about flattening the curve. We want to flat line the curve. We don't, I, I'm sick of seeing in the media these curves which they get from overseas showing a, you know, the, the peak being brought down. We don't need to have those curves. We've got this opportunity now to eliminate the virus. And I think we need some real clarity of purpose. I said before, there is no strategy document. I checked on that with the ministry yesterday. Uh, we shouldn't be talking about the old pandemic plan because that was designed for influenza. You can't eliminate influenza any winter. This, is, this virus is different and every day counts. If we don't eliminate it in the next few weeks, the shutdown will continue for many months or we will have a series of shutdowns which will paralyze our society for a year or 18 months and it'll never be the same again. But if we now can eliminate the virus, we can return to normal within a few weeks, or certainly a month or so. I think it's great that committee members probed the really important issues of introduction of the virus at the border and the adequacy of testing. 
I think the one thing that uh, hasn't been covered in detail is the rapid case contact tracing. Yeah, now, no, I no, myself no. don't have, a, I don't have a good idea myself of how it's working. I don't know if anyone does. I'd love to ask, for example, the um, sad case of the, of the woman in, on the West Coast who died a few days ago. Have all her contacts been traced? Um, it would be really nice to have a report just on that one little biopsy to find out what happened after that person was diagnosed. We know about a few clusters around the country. There could be many more that we don't know about. So I think it would be really helpful uh, because that's the other key ingredient. But uh, I just say again, I think New Zealand has got a fantastic opportunity. We're a lot better off than most of the countries we compare ourselves with. But we do need, I think, to have a very clear purpose. Kia ora.